Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel. Welcome to Privacy Idea. Today I will show you how you can use Privacy Idea attribute mapping to pass arbitrary attributes back to a Radius client like a VPN server. Using this user attribute, you can then put the user, for example, into a special uh, subnet or use it for access rules on the VPN server. So what will we do today? Today, um, we have a user in the Active Directory. The user has a uh, user attribute member of because he's a member of several security groups. In Privacy Idea, we access Active Directory and we will extend the resolver to also read the member of attribute and map it to a Privacy Idea internal attribute. We can call it VPN user. This way, we will be able to return in validate check requests, we will be able to return this attribute to, for example, the Free Radius server. The Free Radius server with the Privacy Idea plugin then receives this user information and will be able to map this information to a Radius attribute like, for example, the filter ID. Thus, the VPN server, the Radius client, will receive this filter ID to put the user into this access group on this VPN gateway. Fine. We now start with a user. The user is called Miser. And he has a OTP token assigned. The OTP of the OTP token is 876194. And this is an API request. And we see that privacy idea returns this information. So if we want privacy idea to return user information, we first have to set a policy. Um, I already prepared it. It's an authorization policy, you can see here. And within the authorization policy, there's a action add user in response. Okay, I activate this policy. And let's see when now the user authenticates. 95. Nine four four five. Then you see that in the response, in the details section, we get a user information with several user attributes: email, given name, surname, username. These attributes are specified by this attribute mapping here. And now the interesting thing is we can add, as I said initially, VPN users member of, which means also fetch member of from Active Directory. And we need to tell them that this member of or this VPN user can contain several values, a list of values. Okay. <clears throat> now that we activated this um, additional mapping here, let's see what happens now. 266 575. When the user authenticates, again we get a detailed section, but in addition we get this new attribute with a lot of membership information. This is great because now we can pass this membership information to the client. 
that is communicating with a privacy ID. And in the case of Radius, um, this is the RLM Perl, uh, the, the Perl plugin for privacy ID in the free Radius server. It is configured in RLM Perl INI. And there we have such um, configuration section. We can define a filter ID. This is the Radius attribute. And we tell it, please take a look in the details section here in the directory user. And in this section again, please look for the user attribute VPN user. Now we can define a um, regular expression because this VPN user contains a list of um, values and we might well let's try to match this one okay <clears throat> okay we can match this one and now the interesting thing is um, we can decide if 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 the group membership follows a certain rule, for example, um, there might be groups VPN users or VPN um, admins or whatever, we could say, okay, we match on everything that looks like this. And you might know this from Perl regular expressions that these brackets define a found value. This means now that the radius attribute filter ID will be set to the um, to the found value here in this name. In this case, the user Misa is a member of the group VPN user. In this case, filter ID will be set to user. Okay, let's see. We run the radius server. And now <clears throat> we have to um, simulate the radius client. Let's see. Um, we just simulate the radius client, the uh, VPN server, using this nice little tool here. So the radius request will contain the username of the user miser and his one-time password. It will be sent to privacy idea. Privacy idea will evaluate this. We will get an approved authentication and we see that the filter ID of the user miser was set to users. In addition, we can also add a prefix or a suffix um, if the for any reason the VPN server needs additional information like a prefix then the authentication request will look like this I have to provide a new OTP value 7877 And then the filter ID will look a bit different. As you already can see with all these responses here, there are a lot of other ways to pass attributes to the radius server and add radius attributes into the radius response. So I hope you like this and I hope you get an idea of what is possible. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or go to communityprivacyidea.org. If you like this, it's great to get a thumbs up. Thank you. So thank you for watching this tutorial about attribute mapping and privacy idea. I think it can also help you with your VPN server to get things done and to put users into the right group. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up 
and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Thank you.